the thing does bank to the right, that means it's not a comet, that means it's heading toward Earth, then what? Yeah, definitely, because so far, you know, I analyzed the last week all the 4,000 data points from 227 observatories on Earth, and it looks like the object did not maneuver at all. It didn't deviate from a trajectory sculpted by gravity alone okay. to a very high precision. So any significant deviation from what we expect it to do would be a technological signature, and we should watch it. A rare celestial encounter is taking place in our solar system. An interstellar comet, designated 3I Atlas, a visitor from deep space beyond our sun's gravitational pull, is making a close pass by Mars, offering an extraordinary opportunity for close-up observations. For the first time, spacecraft orbiting a planet other than Earth are turning their instruments toward an object born in another star system. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, ESA's Mars Express, and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, along with China's Tianwen-1, have all reoriented their sensors to track this elusive wanderer as it travels within 30 million kilometers of the Red Planet. The Comet 3I Atlas was first spotted on July 1, 2025, by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. Initially, it appeared to be just another faint, slow-moving object. But its trajectory told a different story. Detailed calculations soon confirmed that it wasn't gravitationally bound to the Sun. It was on a hyperbolic path, meaning it came from outside the solar system and would never return. That made it only the third confirmed interstellar object following Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. But unlike those two, 3I Atlas was discovered far enough in advance to mobilize a wide, coordinated observation campaign. And by sheer luck, its path brought it remarkably close to Mars, turning orbiters there into active participants. On October 3rd, 2025, 3I Atlas passed just 30 million kilometers from Mars, close enough for instruments aboard orbiters to detect emissions from its gas and dust. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, is using its higher rise camera, a powerful half-meter telescope, to capture images of the comet's coma and tail. And finally, after the silent, something was released. A picture captured from the Mars Orbiter, the closest view so far. While the comet's core is too small and distant to resolve, changes in brightness and structure within the tail could reveal how it interacts with the solar wind and magnetic fields. The European Space Agency is also playing a major role. Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter have both turned their attention to the comet. Instruments like CASIS and the stereo camera are analyzing how sunlight reflects off the comet's gas and dust, giving insight into its chemical composition. ESA's project scientist, Colin Wilson noted that even low-resolution data can help identify key molecular signatures and patterns in the comet's activity. China's Tianwen-1 orbiter adds a complementary perspective, observing the comet from a different orbit around Mars, offering triangulation for more precise tracking. For a short window, Mars became a planetary observatory with multiple international missions working together to study an object that formed far beyond our solar neighborhood. We studied the coma, spectral analysis, high res imagery, anything we could grab before it slipped too close. And what we found raised more questions than answers. It wasn't bluish like cyanogen, it wasn't yellow from sodium. It glowed green, deep, unmistakable, emerald. That glow shouldn't exist so far from the sun, not without extreme chemistry or something more complex than chemistry. Even in the vacuum of space, the object pulsed with energy, structured, active, wrong. The Mars encounter is just the beginning. After the October 3rd flyby, the comet continues its journey toward perihelion, its closest point to the sun, 
around October 29, 30, 2025. As it nears the Sun, its activity is expected to increase significantly, releasing more material and potentially reshaping its coma and tail. Once the comet passes behind the Sun, Earth-based telescopes will temporarily lose sight, but the European Space Agency's JUICE mission, currently en route to Jupiter, will pick up the baton. From November 2nd to 25th, Juno will monitor the comet from deep space, tracking how sunlight and heat alter its chemistry. This marks the first coordinated interstellar comet study involving orbiters from another planet, a deep space probe, and telescopes across Earth and space. Beyond the data, 3i Atlas is shaping how agencies prepare for future interstellar encounters. The speed at which observatories coordinated around this comet has highlighted the growing need for rapid response missions. Concepts like NASA's Comet Interceptor and similar ESA projects are gaining traction, using lessons from 3i Atlas to better plan for the next fleeting visitor. Still, challenges remain. The comet is dim, fast and distant, making direct imaging tough. Much of what scientists learn will come from indirect evidence, changes in brightness, gas signatures and tail behavior, rather than high-resolution pictures. Yet even limited data contributes to our understanding of how comets form, age and journey between stars. 3i Atlas is a reminder that extraordinary opportunities can appear suddenly and that agility in science may be the key to seizing them. The flyby of 3i Atlas marks the first time an interstellar comet has been studied from orbiters around another planet. For a brief moment, Mars became humanity's forward outpost, peering into another star system. Its passage reminds us that even across light years, fragments of distant worlds pass through ours, linking us to the vast and ancient cosmos beyond. Perhaps the greatest takeaway is this. Our solar system is not isolated. We are part of a larger galactic ecosystem, constantly exchanging matter shaped by the same cosmic forces that govern countless other stars. 3i Atlas is just a whisper from that greater universe. It won't be the last. As we look ahead, the next interstellar traveler could already be on its way. And next time, we might not just observe, we might be ready to meet it. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this journey beyond our solar system, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more deep space updates. Until next time, keep looking up. The universe is always closer than it seems.